Hello, hope everybody is alright. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to set up shipping on Wix website. The first thing you want to do once on your Wix admin dashboard, I want you to go over to the left hand menu option and you're going to scroll down until you see settings. You're going to tap on settings. Once you have tapped on settings, you will be redirected to this page. And all you'll need to do now is tap right where you see shipping and fulfillment. After you have tapped on shipping and fulfillment, you'll be redirected to a new page on which you'll be able to set up the shipping for your Wix website. So you can see right here, if you would like to offer free shipping, you can do that. All you'll need to do is simply scroll down. So let me scroll down real quick and I'll show you the rest. So for example, I'm currently located in Jamaica. So you can see right there, I'm offering free shipping in Jamaica. If I wanted to change that, all I would need to do is simply tap on the pencil that says edit. Then after you have done that, I could remove free shipping or I could add other destinations that I would like to also offer free shipping. You can also add local delivery if you want and add pickup if you want. Let's go back. Then from there, let me discard the changes right here. Then from there, you can also scroll down and you can set up international shipping. All you'll need to do is tap on edit. Once you have tapped on edit, from there you can add the locations that you would like to offer. And then if you don't want to offer free shipping, you'll simply tap on remove. After you have tapped on remove, you from here, you could simply tap right where you see add shipping. Then you're going to tap on free shipping right there. And from there, you can set up a flat rate if you want. Or you can tap on flat rate and you can set up a rate by weight. You can set up a rate by price. As you can see, there are numerous options that you can choose from. And you can add in the estimated delivery date. Then you can also add the rate right there. And that's it. Hope you found this tutorial helpful and informative. Once you're finished, you're going to tap on save in the top right hand corner.